motivation, inspiration. It's all bullshit without taking action. International best-selling author, serial entrepreneur, tough love, no BS high performance coach with an attitude. Welcome to the Queendom, where we talk about proven strategies to scale your business and scale your mind for ultimate success. And here's your hostess, cash flow queen, Kenitra. Greetings and peace, family. I hope your day is going awesome. Hope your weekend was fantastic. We're going to get into a great, great episode today. I'm going to be talking about my own health journey. And um, yeah, we're going to get it. We're going to dig into that. Let's take a deep breath, a couple of deep breaths to get into the present moment. Ah, that's beautiful. I'm actually uh, recording today out on the veranda, taking in the cosmic rays, the cosmic energy, and, and soaking up all this divine love that's out here. So this is beautiful. All right, so let's dig in. Health is wealth. If you talk to a person that's on their deathbed, typically that person will have regrets but the regrets won't be the regret of money the regret of material things traveling and all of this type of stuff typically their regrets will be that they didn't have the time or the health to spend with loved ones and to really have a quality of life This is what we're talking about today. What is the point in living if you don't have a quality of life, right? So let's talk about Queen and my personal journey. I've always been an athlete. I've always been pretty uh, active as far as uh, different sports, so forth and so on. So I never really had to pay attention to my health because I was just always in shape just by my nature. Well, I looked up about the year 2018. Now, now mind you, 1999, I left meats alone, right? So I stopped eating meat, went into a, a vegetarian lifestyle. The reason I did that was because I saw a family that passed away from high blood pressure, diabetes, stroke, heart attack, all ailments that were food related. So I said, okay, I need to do something different because this cultural diet that we have in my family, is, it does not work for a sustained quality of life. And I've always wanted to have a high quality of life and to be able to enjoy my life without any ailments. So anyways, 1999 left me alone. Well, with that being said, obviously, you know, there's a lot of processed foods out there, um, vegan, vegetarian foods, all these food manufacturers now, because a lot of people are moving towards a more health conscious mindset. So these food companies now are changing the foods that they sell which is still junk, which is still crap. Me not being very educated on that, I thought, hey, I'm not eating meat. I'm gonna pause because an airplane is going over. All right, so me not being uh, so educated, you know, I'm thinking, well, I'm leaving meat alone, so I'm, I'm doing good. Not so, not so. So about the year 2018 was when it really came to mind. And I looked myself in the mirror. This was right after, uh, right after my puppy dog died. You know, now that I think of it, maybe 
I don't know. I don't, I don't like to make excuses, but I was going to say because he was very ill, so I was putting a lot of energy and time uh, into him. And so just kind of forsaking myself. But in 2018, late 2018, I looked up, I looked in the mirror, and I said, damn, you're fat. And I never really thought of myself, you know, as fat. But I was like, yeah, you're fat. So that immediately, you know, woke me up and made me realize that I needed to do better as far as what I was doing. So in 2019, I set out on this journey to get into the best shape of my life, to get into the best health of my life. And it's just the top of my mind. My, my health is more important than any business deal, any business project, any relationship, anything. My health is the most important. And I'm going to um, share with you some ancient comedic proverbs and stuff like that. Um, kind of give you some insight. So there's a couple of ancient Kemetic proverbs that I want to share with you. Now, Kemet is the ancient name for what we know today as modern day Egypt. There's an ancient Kemetic proverb that reads, the temple of the body is the house of God. The temple of the body is the house of God. So if that is the case, me talking to myself, my temple was a mess. It was an absolute mess. I, I tell people all the time, jokingly, but it's the truth. I tell people all the time, I am the fattest vegan I ever knew. There's another proverb I want to share with you, ancient Kemetic. And it reads, the foods become the body and the thoughts become the spirit. Think about that for a moment. The foods become the body and the thoughts become the spirit. So, what does that mean? Well, that old saying, you are what you eat. You know? And let me just say this. This episode is not, is not intended to offend anyone. It's not intended to bash anyone's diet, beliefs, or anything like that. Simply me sharing my story with you and sharing some tools. If you are on a health journey, that you may want to incorporate to help you on, on your health journey, okay? So, you are what you eat, you are what you think. Period, point blank, simple. You are what you eat, you are what you think. So, during this time frame, since uh, about 2019 really was when I got serious, I started to look into more science, uh, behind diet, more science behind exercise, uh, fasting, and all of these things. So it was uh, September 2nd, 2019. I did a lot of research on the health benefits of water fasting. And so 2019, I did a 30 day water fast, water only. And I lost a you know, great, great deal of weight, got a lot of clarity and things like that. But I still wasn't really like into it like I am today. Um, I had always had a meditation practice. But again, I, I was not deep into it and understanding the science behind manipulating energy and using this energy as nourishment and using it to sustain me. And, and people ask me all the time, you know, you did 30 days water only? I'm like, yeah, that's like easy. I was meditating at the time, but now today I realize that my meditation, the channeling of that energy and cultivating that energy was actually sustaining me. So I didn't, I didn't have hunger. So just recently, uh, right, right now I'm on a, uh, I said it was going to be 21 days, but today is day number 22. So we're going to see how long we go. Apologize if you can hear the lawn man. 
hopefully you can. If you can, and maybe I'll drown it out with some music. But uh, anyways, another ancient comedic proverb. To know yourself is to know God. There's one commandment. When you go to uh, Egypt, inside the uh, temples, you'll see written across the top as you enter into uh, the pyramids, there's one commandment of life, and that commandment of life is know thyself. One commandment. Now, to know yourself is to know God. Maybe you don't want to use the word God. Maybe you use the word divine consciousness, uh, infinite intelligence, the all, whatever word you want to replace there is okay. Another ancient comedic proverb, the temple of the body is the house of God. I think I mentioned that on the other page. The temple of the body is the house of God. So for those of us that do believe in this divine consciousness, this overall arching high energy, I call source sometimes, then the temple of the body is the house of God. That's saying a lot. That's, that, just, that just struck me. And that's why I said, you know, my hell is at, the, is at the top of the list for me. Like nothing else, nothing else supersedes that. So, um, this is, uh-oh, let me go back one. All right, here's where I wanted to go. So on this next slide here, this is this current 21 day detox water fast that I'm doing. Um, like I said, today is day 22. And what I, what I typically will recommend for um, my clients, because I'm a health coach and healer and I put them on, I have, a, I have a, a model or modality that I use. It's a five pillar modality that we go into to help people that, you know, want to obtain optimal health and the best health that they can. And those five pillars are diet, exercise, fasting, meditation, and metacognition. So diet, exercise, fasting, meditation and metacognition now you may say well what is meditation because see i was meditating for years and really didn't have the overstanding of what meditation really is meditation is the proper act of channeling energy from the divine from source See, there are nutrients and there's energy that we get just by being on earth without food. This is how people go, you know, long periods of time without eating. You know, you got some people that don't eat at all because, um, you know, our sun, the sun is, is so nourishing. About an hour of sun rays hitting the earth can entire, can, can, can energize the entire planet for a full year that's the power of the sun if you look in ancient uh, comedic egyptian hieroglyphs in almost every single hieroglyph you'll see a sun disk why is there a sun disk because they know that that's source they know that that's source they know that that's nourishment why am i sitting out talking to you right now in the sun because I want nourishment. So, um, and I, I, I relate to ancient uh, Kemetic or Egyptian, ancient Egyptian uh, proverbs and how they lived in civilization and so forth a lot because they were the longest lasting thriving civilization that has done miraculous things that has never been duplicated, ever. And I give honor and respect to that lineage. 
Those are my ancestors. Those are your ancestors. So, um, anyways, back to this. 21 day, I've been, 20, 22 days is today. And um, learning that meditation is channeling of energy and learning that I could utilize or grab nutrition, protein, and energy from the cosmos, from the earth, it's absolutely amazing. This is the best high <laughs> that you will ever get. Like right now, I'm sitting out here, I don't have shoes on, uh, so I'm grounding. I'm, 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 I am incorporating the uh, negative ions that hit the earth that we can utilize right because we have positive charges with you know the laptop I'm sitting in front of your cell phone the 5g towers satellites all of this kind of stuff it drains your energy but you can actually rejuvenate yourself and put that energy back into you I don't want to go too deep on this because I'm gonna do I think I'm gonna do um, an episode on this because I'm, I'm on a path I'm, I'm on a path to breatharian technically I'm already a breatharian um, but yeah, yeah, um, I'm on that path because what I can tell you is that fasting and meditation has allowed me to connect so solidly with the divine that I've been able to manifest things like, just like it's almost like I'm a magician. It kind of reminds me of the secret, right? But I'm doing the action. The secret left a whole lot out as far as taking action. But I'm actually doing the action. So now, is Queen telling you to go vegan, to not eat, to only drink water, do this? I'm, I'm not telling you any of that. Sharing with you my story. If you're on a health journey, if your health is important to you, then maybe some of the things that I share with you, you can incorporate into your life. The thing I will tell you, I have people that will um, come to me and ask me uh, different questions around fasting. And because the only reason I go on Facebook is I belong to these health groups, fasting groups, breatharian groups, health groups, different things like that. That's the only reason I go on Facebook or I would not have a Facebook account. Um, so anyways, they ask me different questions like, you know, if I'm on medication, should I stop taking my medication, things like that. I can't tell a person what to do as far as their medication because I'm not a doctor. I didn't go to medical school. So you would have to make that determination on your own. What I've seen from people in my, in my groups, people that I coach, uh, when they go on water fast, they drop their blood pressure, they no longer need blood pressure medication. I've seen people water fast, they were diabetic before, they're no longer diabetic. Um, and in fact, I'm gonna share with you, let me go to this next slide. I'm gonna share with you over these last 21 days what happened to me. Because I've really been deep, 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 deep into meditation. So, this is my most uh, current photo here. I've been doing uh, insanity challenges every 63 days. I do a challenge. This is my last 63 days. Today, I started a 30-day contest. It's a 30-day abs contest. So, send me some positive vibrations so that uh, I can win that contest. I'm gonna crush it. I'm gonna crush it, hands down. Hands down, I'm gonna crush it. Um, man, I hope, I, hope, uh, I hope that noise, I can uh, clear it up for you. All right, so here's what happened to me on this last 21 days uh, of water only. I lost 19 pounds. I had a uh, sciatic nerve pain in my left leg. Uh, that's gone. 
And the reason I, I believe I have it is because I have a curvature in my spine. And so that curvature showed up, the pain went to the nerve in my left leg. That's gone. I don't need reading glasses anymore. If you can see me right now, you see the video portion of this. I don't have on any reading glasses. Uh, my yoga poses, I can do deeper yoga poses. I have better mental clarity. My skin, very clear, very clear skin. Uh, I sleep a lot less. I sleep maybe four or five hours a night. And this allows me more time. Uh, I've got two books that I'm writing. I've got a huge humanitarian project that I'm working on. I have a huge project that I'm working on where we're developing our own cryptocurrency. So I've got all these different projects that I'm working on. And fasting gives me the energy to do all of those projects. And as I post it there, I'm going to keep detoxing for 30 days. And at the 30 day mark, we'll reassess. And then we'll see where we go from there. So, you know, I just wanted to share with you all, you know, how your, your health can springboard you into so much other abundance and prosperity in your life. Because I know when I, um, when I uh, started, you know, and I, I got really, really serious, the energy, the vitality that it gave me, it just allowed me to blossom in so many other areas. And I'm so full of energy. I'm so full of life, you know. I'm just, I'm just in love. I'm in love. I'm in love <laughs> with the divine, right? To know yourself is to know God. So peace and unconditional love. I hope you receive some insight in this episode. If you are only listening to the episode on a podcast, go to my YouTube channel and you can actually watch the slides uh, that I presented here. To get to the YouTube channel, go to thequeendome.com. If you're on a laptop, look to the right, look for the YouTube picture, click it. If you're on your cell phone, scroll to the bottom, click the YouTube picture, and it'll take you to my YouTube channel. All right? So again, have a great day. Peace and unconditional love. Thank you for tuning in. Please like, share, and subscribe via iTunes and Google Play for upcoming episodes. If you're committed to scaling your business and life to the next level, book a free strategy session with Cashflow Queen Kenitra by visiting the website nobscloser.com. Again, that's nobscloser.com. Again, visit nobscloser.com to book a free strategy session today.